Hi everyone this tutorial i am going to explain how you can simulate automatic parking system using proteus tool so let's get started first we will open proteus yes so here uh, we will select new project now let us give the name of our project let's give the name as automatic parking system in the short form i mentioned as sys click on next next again next again next again and click on finish this opens my work window now one by one we will add all our components so first we will add our microcontroller that is Arduino. Now select the microcontroller, click on OK. Now let's place the microcontroller. It's time to select our sensor. So we are going to use PIR sensor. So PIR sensor basically detect uh, the vehicle inside the parking area. So we will go to components and here we will type PIR. I will select the first one. Before selecting this component, I would suggest this component will not be present in your library. So you can download from online and you can import this in your tool. Okay, now let's continue. Uh, now click on OK. Now we will place say around uh, four sensor, but as of now, I need to make some connection. So I will just leave this as it is. Now we need to add one gate. Let's add a driver first before adding a motor. So let me add a say L293D which is a motor control IC. We will select this. We will place it over here. Now let's add a motor as well. A simple DC motor. Here it is. Uh, we will click on OK and place it over here so we need one display device so we will go with a 16 cross 2 lcd let's add that as well 16 cross 2 so let's select this one and we will place it over here i think we have all the components and we will start making our circuit so let's arrange this properly first we will go with the sensor so we have something called as V that stands for voltage O stands for the output and G stands for the ground so we will make that connection and we have a test pin over here so we can give the input to the test pin uh, we can add some switch which indicates the parking of the vehicle I will go in the parts I will search for switch I will select this one SPDT so click on OK and we will place it over here. I assume uh, this might be an active low device. So it should be connected to ground uh, to detect uh, this parking of the vehicle. So let's add the ground for that. Select ground and we will place it over here. Now uh, there is one more issue with this sensor is that whenever we leave this uh, connection floating whenever the switch is open it will not detect anything so we get a false reading so to avoid that what we will do we will use a pull-up resistor so for that we need to add few resistor that will be connected to power supply we'll go back to the parts again and we will search for resistor click on ok and let's rotate this first and let's change the value for this to 1k instead of 10k now let's make the connection now we need a power supply over here 
as i mentioned we need a pull up resistor which means uh, the other end should be connected to the power supply so we will go to terminals uh, we will select power and we will place it over here okay now we need one more power supply that connects to v and we need a ground so i will add another ground over here let's do the connection for this we need similar four sets of uh, sensors uh, which specifies there is four separate areas that vehicle will be parked we will select the entire block right click on it select copy block place it over here again we will select the entire block right click block copy and here once yeah. we have four sensors totally with all the connections now uh, we will do the connection for the motor we actually need only one motor so we will leave this pin as it is now we need to connect to power supply so we will go back to terminal again and here we will select power let's place it over here let's select the ground as well uh, so now we will place it over here and we will do the connections now now the connection for this is done uh, we will place few of the default pins and we will make the connection this directly to the supply so that it is enabled for this channel and we will do the connections for the default terminals now uh, the motor connection is also been done now it's time to do the connection for the lcd now for this uh, we will not use a complex connection instead we will place the default pins over here as well Now let's do the connection for all the terminals. So terminals has been connected. Now it's time to give the power supply and ground. So we can leave the power supply as if now because uh, that is something we can keep as an exception even though it will run. Now we will just directly connect the ground connection. now uh, there should be some terminals over here so we will go back to defaults again now again i am not going to uh, copy this again and again so i will select entire block so first i will rotate in anti clockwise and then i will do copy block it's done so now let's make the connection for this
it is not properly aligned but yeah definitely it will work so now it's time to give the name for the terminals so double click on it let's start giving the name for this i will give the name as d0 which specifies the digital pin 0 similarly i will do for the other pins as well So in order to make the connections, uh, we need to give the same name. So we will start with the LCD first. Okay, so LCD connection has been done. It's time to connect to the uh, motor driver. So we will give the name as D6 over here, D7. Now it's time for the sensors. So the next will be D8 pin number we need to assign up. Yeah, so all the connection has been done except one thing I had missed over here that is we need to connect VSS to ground. Let's connect this to the ground. Yes. Yeah, so now uh, the schematic has been completed. Now it's time to uh, write the code. So we will open Arduino app. Okay, so uh, the Arduino app is open now. So we will start writing the code over here. So first up, uh, we need to include LCD library since we are using LCD. Next, uh, we need to specify the pin which has been allocated to LCD display. So, for that, I will mention liquid crystal LCD 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, let us uh, assign the pin uh, which we are going to use for sensor. So, we had used uh, pins are D8, D9, D10 and D11 we need to define over here so let's give the name as sensor 1 the sensor pin starts from 8 this was our uh, sensor pin now uh, we need to check what is the pin allocated for the gate that is motor D6 and D7. So D6 will be for clockwise and D7 will be for anti-clockwise. So we will go back again. Uh, we will give the name as close gate, which is pin number six. So gate seven. Now we are going to use some custom character uh, to display uh, whether there is any parking or not. So for that, uh, I am going to use a bit manipulation technique. We are going to create the symbol of X. Uh, this basically uh, symbolizes whenever we park in vehicle so it will shoot cross sign which means the vehicle has been parked over there and you cannot 
park the vehicle anymore so now we will create one more custom symbol that is a square empty box which symbolizes there is there is no vehicle on the parking area and you can park your vehicle so we will copy this paste it over here So let's rename this as N Park, which means no vehicle has been parked. Now uh, there is one more thing we had left out, is something we need to have some variable that stores all the sensor value. So uh, here use int, and we will mention it as P A one comma p a2 which specifies park area 3 and p a4 so uh, we are going to use this variable to store all our sensor values uh, so what we will do we will add a comment over here so that later on when we refer to this code we will at least know what is the custom character means Now let's set up all the pins we need to mention now uh, which pins we are going to use as an input and output. Now, so we had uh, mentioned the pin mode of all the sensors and the output. Now it's time to uh, mention uh, the custom character as well. So for that, uh, we will mention that as LCD dot create character that is car zero comma park. and uh, i will copy this again paste it below uh, let's make it as n cap and one so this this creates my custom character uh, with the number zero and one now uh, we need to uh, set up lcd begin cd begin so 16 cross 2 Now we will have some initial message saying that gate is opening. So whenever we turn on the system, first up it will open the gate. So we should have some message displaying on the LCD screen that gate is opening. Or we need to run the motor in the clockwise direction. And after that, uh, we need to clear uh, whatever has been mentioned previously on the LCD display. So for that, we will use the function called as LCD clear. So LCD dot clear done. So everything has been set up over here. Uh, so now it's time to write the code for the main loop. Let me remove this comment. And first up, I will write the code for the LCD. Uh, which will display uh, which are the parking areas
now as i mentioned previously we are going to store uh, uh, the sensor data to our uh, variables uh, which i had declared here so we will start adding all those uh, values in the variables now it's time to write if else condition so that uh, whenever uh, sensor detected the vehicle it should display on the screen saying that that area has been occupied so the visitor will understand uh, where to park now let's start writing the code for that now all our condition has been updated now there is one more last condition uh, where all the parking area is occupied the gate will close so we will write uh, one more condition and we will write the code for closing the gate So now uh, our code is prepared it's time to save this code Now it's time to compile our code click on compile let's see if we get any error or not okay so we have some error over here let's see what is the error exactly okay okay so there is a major mistake over here i didn't rename the sensor it should be two, three, and four. So now let's compile. Okay, there is one more error. Okay, so we had used a semicolon. Let's verify this again. okay so compilation has been done now it's time to export we need to click on export compiled binary so our hex file will be generated and that hex file we will use in proteus to simulate our schematic 
so it is done now so let's uh, go back to proteus now it's time to upload the code over here so here is my hex file we will go back to proteus click on arduino select the standard hex file click on ok now let's start the simulation we will click on run we will get this message saying gate opening and the motor will run in the clockwise direction now next uh, we will get this message so we have parking area 1 2 3 and 4 uh, for now it is empty you can see a blank boxes over there that uh, that shows uh, this area is empty so when we park a vehicle and the sensor detects any of the vehicle has been parked so uh, what will be the message on the LCD so we will see that let's uh, close this switch yeah, so you can see this symbol it means uh, the parking area one has been occupied you cannot park the vehicle over here now you have option of parking in uh, parking area two three and four uh, now next uh, we will close that as well so here uh, the parking area one and two is occupied and uh, parking area three and four is empty now so this will indicate the driver that he cannot park in parking area one and two instead he have to park either in parking area three or parking area four so we will close the switch uh, 3 as well so now the uh, parking media 3 has also been occupied let's close the sensor 4 as well now uh, the parking area is completely occupied and the motor should now run in the anti-clockwise direction yeah, you can see now uh, the motor is rotating in anti-clockwise direction 